eat your heart out, Dominic Toretto. A hit team of UK engineers, scientists, gearheads, and car nuts want to make this bad boy travel at over 1,000 miles per hour. The Bloodhound supersonic car performed its very first public run last week, clocking in a speed of 210 miles per hour. When complete, the car will be fitted with two engines, one of which is a jet engine that is the same as the one found on the Eurofighter aircraft. This can clock in speeds of 650 miles per hour. The second of which will be a rocket engine. This is expected to help it travel at over 1,000 miles per hour. The car is also comprised of over 3,500 parts, many of which are tailor-made. They're aiming to break the world land speed record of 763 miles per hour in two to three years. Living life in the fast lane. Jetpack Company comes out with electric VTOL concept. After giving the world its first working jetpack, David Maimon and company are bringing to life yet another science fiction dream. Flying cars. Jetpack Aviation is designing a new single-seat electric multicopter, equipped with six arms, 12 propellers, and landing balls instead of skids. Each arm on the VTOL aircraft comes with two propellers, one mounted on top and another underneath. They spin in opposite directions. The flying car will only be able to travel up to 90 miles per hour and operate up to 20 minutes before it needs to be recharged. Two of the middle arms will be designed to fold in so that the vehicle will be low and thin enough to fit inside a garage. Jetpack Aviation is currently developing a safety system for the project, with the team estimating that they will begin building the device in about six months. Car journeys are going to be so much fun in the future. Tech giant Panasonic has unveiled its futuristic vision for an autonomous car cabin. The Panasonic Autonomous Car Cabin has four seats that can face each other, arranged around a centerpiece interactive digital display system. Each seat has an individual display screen table that allows passengers to map the journey, play games, or read information. The four screens can also combine into a single table with a bigger screen. The interior trim of the cabin is made of plastic smart materials that display information and can change to look like wood, metal, or leather. Augmented reality windows can display information about the car's surroundings, such as landmarks and points of interest. Meanwhile, each seat has a personal audio zone with speakers integrated into the headrests. Facial recognition technology identifies the driver and will only permit registered drivers to take control of the vehicle. Should the driver choose to take the wheel, an eight-camera system feeds into an augmented reality display in the windshield to aid navigation. Panasonic's design was revealed at tech trade show CES 2017 in Las Vegas. According to the company, the plans are still a work in progress. But Panasonic hopes the concept will give people an idea of what the autonomous car of the future might look like. Three-wheel car turns into a flying gyrocopter. Dutch company Palvi has designed a car that can fly you out of traffic jams. The Palvi Liberty can easily shift from flight mode to drive mode. The vehicle is about the size of a regular car and can carry two people. The car can accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in less than 9 seconds. Its lowered suspension system allows it to tilt when going into curves. The manufacturer suggests using a runway at least 280 meters long for takeoff. The car has a maximum operating altitude of 3,500 meters. It can land on an airstrip that is significantly shorter than what it needs to take off from. If you're interested in getting behind the wheel of one of these bad boys, you'll need both a driver's license and a pilot's license. Homegrown car, anyone? A group of students from the Netherlands have built a four-seat electric car from materials derived from sugar beets and flax, making it the world's first biodegradable car. The chassis of the car is made from a honeycomb core made of polylactic acid sandwiched between two flax fiber composite sheets. The structure is said to be comparable in strength to fiberglass. Only the wheels and suspension systems are not made of biodegradable materials. The biocomposite materials give the car a weight of only 300 kilos, thus significantly reducing its battery size relative to other electric cars. Users can access the car via a smartphone or a card with an NFC chip. The prototype has not yet passed crash tests because the material will likely break upon impact. 
However, the developers say they intend to test drive the car on city streets once they receive government approval.